a fine band called the Hard Ons with a re recording. Was that, did that appear on, on, on Yummy? It did, didn't it? Or not? Not that version, no. No, That's but this is like a re recording. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's fresh. It's fresh. I'm talking to Tesh Ray and Blackie in order of their seating arrangements from the Hard Ons. Hi, how successful are you at indoor cricket? Um, extremely successful. Yeah. Um, no, actually, we about, about three weeks ago, then we beat a team, um, 106 to nil. Yeah. 116 to nil. Yeah, that's what they win in the league. Is there, like, an intimate link between indoor cricket and your particular brand of trash thrash? Uh, trash no. thrash. Oh, I was, sorry, it was, a, it was the first, first two adjectives that sprang to mind. It's not, like, it doesn't inspire you to wild guitar solos or nothing like that. Yeah, I think playing live is a lot. It's, um... Well, occasionally while drumming, I do the googly. Googly? And, like, you know, just chuck it in during a song and stuff. So, uh, can you, um... <laughs> being inspiration. What, what's a googly? It come, comes out from the back of a hand. Yeah, it's rolled off. It comes out from the back of a hand and it makes a... It, it's called a wrong end. Yeah. Uh, Ray, really, the, I lose the bat. Ray, the mad bass player from hell, has just pinched a Triple J announcer's um, snack pack. He's got it in his mouth. Wondering why he's sounding a bit... Oh, in the cinema car, ask you a sensible question now. Sure. Right. Um, well, just as a punter, like I've I've noticed. Uh, I mean, I saw you first in about eighty five, eighty six. Would that have been right? You were playing then, weren't you? Yes. Yeah. We started eighty four. Eighty four. Uh, I saw you at uh, a youth centre in Canberra, and it was yeah. Oh. <laughs> do, 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 do Canberra's not that bad. Oh. Stop it. It is. It is. Um, and um, I, there no, was I there was all of these like skaters, flame up types in DRI T-shirts, and then like, I saw you on um, your last show a couple of times and. There's like, um, there's all these metal moshes there now that, um, it's, I mean, have you, have you changed at all? Because your audience has changed. I mean, that's just a must No, nah, but just like, you know, people are very sheep-like and they follow what's in. Like, skating isn't in at the moment and, um, being a headbanger is, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm building a rim in my backyard. Oh, sorry. It's rollerblading now or something. Um, so, so where are we going? Where are we going? Yeah, Back no. home after you. Back, no, no, I just didn't go. No, we're, get, we're going all over Europe. Yeah. Look, I've got it all in front of me. Okay, well, tell us about it. Yeah, we're going to trust Kesh to read this. No, <laughs> sir. <laughs> 78 shows in three months, mind you. No, we're going to tour. Um, yeah, we're going to Australia yeah, first. We're going to record in Amrita. France, Italy. As if my, broken, bro if my broken thumb allows me, we're going to be um, playing from the sixth. 6th of March <coughs> till the 20th in uh, various places around Australia. Yeah. Like just two numerous ones here to mention. Alice Springs. What do, you, what do you expect over there? I mean, you've been there before, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, from, from what I've read, um, I've, you know, you're fairly, fairly successful. You're fairly you hip there? over there. Is it? Yeah, we're huge oh. over there. Shut up, boy. You're huge over there. You're big and pulsating. Um, do you think it's got anything to do with you being Australian, you know, or, or not? I mean, they think that no, Australians think have some kind of animal fresh appeal, or...? Yeah. Being white's not in anymore. Yeah. No, you know what I think it is? I think, um... It has been. I think in Europe there's not a lot of good live bands. And I think because, um, in Australia, to, um, you know, you have to play live at least three or four years before anything happens to you. So, Australian bands are always good live. And yeah. in Europe, they're all crap, so... And because we're extra good live, I think, I don't know, we're just yeah, successful. Yeah, you know, right. mm, so in my humble opinion, you're fairly, fairly kick-ass live, really. Yeah. And, I, yeah, I mean, I, I took somebody home with a, with a broken nose, and his mate had a broken arm the last time. So, do you, do you like people stage diving, or does it yeah, annoy you? Yeah, it's up to them. Yeah. Uh, it, only annoys, it only annoys you when they um, start, you know, pushing us out of the way and kicking our gear around. Or hurting people, you know, you get certain... Um, yeah, it's no, I, mean, yeah, it, it's a I don't like it when they come to come on stage and when they, they, or when they start going big aisle to me. I don't like that. Why well, even not? I wonder. Do they really do that? Oh, sometimes, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I was going to ask you a deeply relevant question, but it's um, it's just shot out of my head. Perhaps I do you, you you had you have some <coughs> gem that you'd like to share with Australia before we play track six. Of the wonderful new CD, Yummy. I have a really good topaz at home. Yeah? Is that what sort of gem you mean? Yeah. All <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> what a wit you are. Yeah. <laughs> this comic humor, yeah. <laughs> World's worst jokes. Do you want to come back after this song, or are you, like, too bored? No, we'll hang around. Oh, uh, uh, Tess, you chose this. What is it called again? Can we uh, just remember it's your own record? Oh, I knew. <laughs> I 
don't know nothing about mic technique. What is it, four albums now or something? She doesn't even know who the wife is. Yeah, I don't even know who the wife is. I do a heavy metal program. Um, yeah, you're listening to the hard-ons and uh, being talked to by at by luscious DJ Helen Razor. Uh, you're on Triple J. Right across a beautiful nation uh, that was called, what was it, she sits beside me? Some urban... She sucks my butt. No. <laughs> it's called um, fluid retention. It's called fluid retention. It's called toe jam sucking in the 80s. By a sensitive young band, the hard-ons. No, it's called Sit Beside You. Yeah. yeah. Sit, sit Beside You. An urban love... What's been called? Hey, 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 John Singles listening. An urban love ballad. Um, oh, I know what I was going to ask you before. Um, do you think, do you think, I mean, you've gone to the whole effort of re-recording um, that, that single. Um, uh, has, has your, uh, has your, like, production sense increased or anything like that over the, over the years? I mean... Oh, uh, listen to Yummy. No. <laughs> 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 We're going to get someone else to produce our next album because, um... We just shit out at it. And yeah. we've got your chocolate. Oh, you you do your own production. Oh, we try to, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's usually, usually we we, we, do, we, we make good singles, but uh, our attention span doesn't last the whole album. I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's more to come. Okay. Um, what in, what inspired the Stairway to Heaven? A whole huge Jimmy Page. Tell him, Ray. Right. That's right. He Tell played him, right. it. Hey. Tell him, Ray. Right. Uh, oh, well, Jimmy Page is. You're my biggest influence in bass playing. <laughs> <laughs> he plays the guitar. Does he? Oh, right. <laughs> oh, no, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Deep Purple fan from way back, so... <laughs> <laughs> but it's Led Zepp. <laughs> he produced his own record, too. It's 21 minutes to 12. Um, this is the hard ones, and they want to hear a band called The Meanies. Do you know anything about this, Ray? Or is your, your little selection? I don't know anything about this band. <laughs> it's great. It's way rad. Yeah, they're from Melbourne. They're awesome. Yeah, they're from Melbourne. They're also in the Finale. And, 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 and this is a song called The Meanie Twist. And uh, would you? Would no, I think we're playing Lion, aren't we? Look, this this might. No, no. We're no, playing, we're playing Meanie Twist. You've been outvoted, <laughs> man. Christ, sit down, white boy. Would you? Would you like on national radio to say goodbye to the country and all your your firm followers? Bye, no. Australia. Let there be peace. See you around like a result. You don't have any um any last dates or any dates to give out? Like, yeah, yeah okay, we'll do that. Yeah. That's a good oh, idea. Oh, gee, Here we go. that's good of you boys. March the 6th at the Old Line Hotel in Adelaide. Friday the 8th at Old Greek Theatre in Melbourne with um, Butthole Surfers. So is oh, Adelaide. Butthole Surfers? Yeah. Oh, apparently cool. Yeah, well, come you heard of them? Yeah, I have heard of the Butthole Surfers. Saturday the 9th at Sarah Sands, Melbourne. Sunday the 10th at um, Bowen, Bowen Civic Centre in Geelong. Uh, the 12th at Feathers, the Crow's Nest. The 13th at okay. North Wollongong. The 14th at General Burke at Parramatta. The 15th Ooh. at Tatters Tattersall. Is that the site right? Yeah, in Newcastle. Check with, check with their manager. <laughs> the, the 16th at Salinas. And are we playing Perth now? The 20th at the Ozone Bar. Yeah, but where it's got the Asterix, um, we're playing on Battle Surface. Yeah? Yeah, so oh. there's there's four Asterix there, so we're playing at the Battle Surface four times. And have you got any fresh milk in the fridge? Or are they all off? No, I don't know. Stop blowing your nose on your T-shirt. No, it's like it's hard. I'm trying to avoid this. Play another song. Oh, God. Play another song. This is the Meanies, Meanie Twist. Goodbye, my little thrash erections. Have a great time overseas. <laughs> That's right. Oh, little thrash Yeah. <laughs> 